Whether you're getting married this summer, maybe in the fall, or moving into a committed relationship, making and keeping promises to each other are the cornerstone of a successful relationship. And there are a few financial vows that couples should exchange as they move into their life together. That's at least according to our money expert, Andy Mattingly, who's joining us live today. Hey, Andy, good morning. How can exchanging those financial vows help a relationship? Well, money problems are still cited as the number one cause for relationships having problems or breaking up. So the best thing is to start talking about money early on. All right. What is the key to that, to getting to a successful financial relationship? Well, one of the keys is making sure that you both are equal partners in it. So you can't have one person who is given all the responsibility or takes all the responsibility. So if you work together and build long and short term plans together, that's a good thing to be doing. How do you stay in sync with your significant other? Well, you make a vow that you're going to talk about financial matters on a regular basis and not just leave it to one. So you need to have kind of that regular money discussion in your relationship. Is there a vow that you believe is most important? Yeah, the number one vow is that you've got to agree that you're going to compromise on financial matters. Um, you have to give up a little bit of financial independence, but you have to understand that you, when you compromise, you're making something good for both of you. And the ultimate goal is for both of you to be happy. All of a sudden, compromising doesn't seem like losing. It seems like winning. Andy, why is that specific one so important? Well, it's, it's really important to compromise on um, money matters because that's where there can be a lot of issues or um, resentment if you're not um, willing to compromise. And then if there's real money issues, that, that can become a really huge problem for everyone. Absolutely. Last question. How do we strengthen a relationship? What's the number one thing you'd put out there? Well, the number one thing that I think that all couples should do is have a vow that they're going to put money back for a fun money or fun plans and work on that together because it's a tangible result. You can build memorable experiences with whatever those fun activities are going to be. And it's also a lot more fun to talk about going on vacation or something like that in your money discussions instead of always talking about reducing debt or controlling credit card expenditures. So it's a great way to have some fun time with all of those vows. Great advice. Love it. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Thank you.